Boxes upon boxes are filled with prescription pills at Saturday's drug take back day in Nashua. I'd say pretty steady stream of people, like just like always. The event is part of the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration's nationwide effort to prevent medications from getting into the wrong hands. Typically collect anywhere from 10 to 15 boxes, so I, I think we're doing pretty good. I stopped by the Raymond location. We had some staff in Manchester. Uh, from talking to everyone, we, we had a great turnout all around. I've been hoarding them for quite some time, and I've meant to come before and it you know it's a great program you can do, get rid of them safely you know and have good peace of mind there are 124 drop-off locations across new hampshire that include local law enforcement nonprofits, and pharmacies all participating in drug take back day we have data that shows the number one way that most kids are getting their medications is stealing it from their either their own medicine cabinets or their grandparents' medicine cabinets. If kids don't realize what they're taking, if they started that prescription pill addiction in your medicine cabinet and then they get an illicitly made pill, they can't tell the difference. Drug Take Back Day is held twice a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. But there are other opportunities to donate between those times. The majority of police departments that have these drop boxes year round and most police departments are open 24 seven. Call your local agency to find out. In addition to some uh, like Walgreens, Rite Aid, a lot of them have drop boxes as well. Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.